Tag, you're it. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Tag Tuesday. We are going to do the couples tag, one, two, three. Okay. If your significant other could be married to a movie star, who would it be? Well, obviously, you're going to go with Norman Reedus. And I would say you would probably go with Callie Cuco. Yeah. Good choice? Not bad. Okay. If your significant other could be a celebrity, who would it be? If I could, if he could if be? If I could be a celebrity, who would I be? Who would you be? Yes. Yeah. There is a correct answer to this. Uh-oh. I knew this was going to get me in the trouble. <laughs> uh, uh, Norman Reedus's girlfriend? <laughs> Daryl Dixon's girlfriend? I don't know. I think if you could be a celebrity... I could be a celebrity? Yes, because I have to answer for you now. Oh, okay. I think you would be yourself. And that's the answer I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know there was rules to this. There's I mean, not. Should we have rules? <laughs> no, there's not. Um, you've gone to the 7-Eleven to get milk and decide to get your significant other a treat. What did you buy? Uh, beef jerky. Red vines. <laughs> What percentage of housework would your significant other say that they do? This is a dangerous one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you could say it for now or right. before I got sick. All right. So, so there's two different answers for this. Okay, so 50-50. <laughs> Actually. Unless, unless she's sick, then it's like. Zero, 100. <laughs> Actually, with me going through all my surgeries and everything right now, it's pretty much him doing everything. But when I'm not sick and I'm healthy, I'm going to say it's about 80-20. Okay. When I'm not sick? All right. Yeah. Housework, not outside. Housework. Okay. Uh, if your significant other could choose one thing for you to get rid of, what would it be? For you to get rid of? Oh, gotta be careful again here. <laughs> this is a touchy tag. <laughs> it would have to be that damn cardboard thing in the bedroom. Hey, now! <laughs> that was a gift! If I could choose one thing for Kevin to get rid of, it would have to be his ratty old t-shirts. Not the good ones, but the ratty old ones. Yeah. What is your significant other's most repeated sentence or phrase? See you later. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> what is your significant other's most used cuss word? And we're allowed to say it and not have to put money in the cuss jar because this is part of the tag. I don't know if I... Let me see. I don't even notice cuss words that you... Either and we one of us we really don't really cuss, cuss that much. But I know that... that when she, I get very angry... She gets, she'll drop the F-bomb every now and then. When I get really very angry. angry. Um, Kevin, um, I would have to say, is shits only because he calls freckles freckly shits. Um, what is your significant other's ultimate favorite movie? I, I, I mean, it's, oh, it's the same one as mine, I think. It's The Haunting, 1963, original version. Same one for him. I was going to be silly and say something like Finding Nemo. Well, Happy Feet, if you want to go with a cartoon one. Happy Feet is my favorite. Um, a meteor just hit. You saved everything important. Family members, pets, pictures. What would your significant other go back in to get? 
if all the family members and pets were all saved, were all saved, what would and pictures? What would I go back in the house to get? A computer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. That's what he would go back in the house to get. Um, I don't know what I would go back in the house to get. I would probably bones. Yeah, is bones a family member. Bones, bones is a family bones member. I would probably. I I don't know. Um, the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could get the bar. I don't know. Um, my polar bear stuffed animals and my ornaments. All right. Um. Last question. The saying opposites attract is true because me and my significant other are opposites act. That's not where we're opposites at, but nice try. <laughs> uh, opposites. I, I, I think the only thing that we're really at odds in is watching TV. She likes the rom-coms and the girly shows and and I don't. I don't really like those. I just don't like watching some of the stuff Kevin watches over and over and over again. It gets tedious. So, okay. I usually, I usually turn things on just to have something in the background. Yeah. And I don't want to ha put something on that I ha it's going to take a lot of my concentration because I'm usually doing something while I'm watching TV. Yeah. We are going to tag Ronnie and Melody Mainville, RFS Dan and Crystal, and Austin and Jess Vlogs. Sit. Tag. You're it. And that wraps up another episode of Tag Tuesday. We will catch you next week. Bye. Bye.